is that folk music that you play there? What is that? <laughs> How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, ah, never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs> Cola pisci, ti chi santa mare come un ufficio, d'un divo nivo non sapia nessuno, forse era lo figlio di un lo di un nettuno, giorno con lo re facci chiamare, e cola di un mare core veni, o cola lume regno a scandagliare, sopra chi pedamento si sostenni. Con la pisci cure va, ma è torno mai sta. Con la pisci cure va, ma è torno mai sta. Così si è tra mare con la pisci e sotto l'onde subito sparisci, ma dopo un po' con questa novità. All'urregnanti con la piscida. Maestà le terre vostre, stanno sopra tre pilastre, e lo fatto è assai tremendo, uno già stato bello. Ho destino infelici, che sventò Solo tu ma vuoi salvare Con la pisci cuore va Ma è torno mai sta Con la pisci cuore va Ma è torno mai sta Passati tanti giorni Con la pisci non ritorni E la spada non ha marino Allora niente è la regina Poi si senti la sua voce in un mare in superfici Maestà Maestà Sogno ca Sogno ca Dallo fondo dello mare Io non posso più tornare Voi priate la Madonna Sta reggendo la colonna 
Als je nou ziet met verraag, als je nou ziet met verraag, laat je Gilia parira. Su passati ormai tant'anni, con la piscia è sempre da. Maestra, maestra, sognucca, sognucca, maestra, maestra, sognucca. sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin and our guest today is Aqua Aria, which is Mich Michela. Michela? I'm in Chinese. Thank you for pronouncing this correctly for no me. No problem. <laughs> Thank no. you for having us, Ralph. This is a it's real treat pleasure. to be here. There's some really great musicians up here and we're honored to be among them. Can you tell us a little bit about that first song? Sure. It's uh, a legend from Sicily. And it's a very old, old myth about a creature who's half man, half fish, Kolapishi. So he loves to swim under the island. And the, um, the legend is that till this day, he swims under Sicily. He's still there. And he's always calling out, Sunyuka, Sunyuka, I'm here. I'm here. I'm still here. So it's a lot of fun for us to sing that song. We, our, our project, Aquaria, is all about the sea, all about the songs that the fishermen sang, or the legends of the sea, or anything that has to touch the sea. And uh, that's one of the most fun songs that we sing. We really have a good time with that one. I could tell. <laughs> well, the sea surrounds Sicily, and surrounds us all also our personalities. So everything is related, because the, the sea surrounds the land, but also link people of every culture. So that's really important for us. Great. What else would you like to share with us? Well, we have another song that um, is about the sea. And it's about when um, there's those times when the sea is calling. You know, everybody gets captured by the sea and, and they get swept away, you know. Uh, but sometimes when they have to leave, sometimes when the, the mariners had to leave, it was very difficult because they left someone that they loved behind. So this is actually a love song, but it has the title of a lullaby because in this song, the lover says to his beloved, the sea is so beautiful and it's calling me, but I don't have the heart to go. So before I go, he says, Fammi la nina, la nina, la vo. And that means, before I go, sing me a lullaby. <laughs> Corino mini 
Thank you. Some of these songs are very old. Um, they really don't even know sometimes where these songs came from or what the traditions are, but we like to think that um, the songs have a little bit of every person who sang them in them, so that's how they appeal to so many people today because there's so many, so many people made a contribution to that song through the history, through the centuries. Can we do another one? Sure. <laughs> the, um, in Sicily, there's a, a big tradition and also a big industry of the swordfish. Um, it's a big fishing industry, but there's a tradition. And even the, the fishermen used to chant texts that were written in ancient Greek and Roman, and they believed that this would entice the fish into their nets. Vincenzo can, knows these chants. Do you want to hear them? Sure. Mamassu di Paiano, Paletta di Paiano, Paletta di Stignela, Paletta di Paeno Palè. Stignela Paletta, Palela Stigneta, Pronassu Vardu Pressu de Viso, ed Eterna. And besides this tradition, um, the swordfish was really a part of the culture. And there's a beautiful story that the fishermen used to tell because before the fishermen could capture the swordfish, um, they had to consider things like the currents, the position of the sun in the sky. They would consider whether the fish had coupled. And if they had paired off, what they would have to do is separate the fish and they would kill the female first. And once the female was killed, the male could be captured very easily because he was much larger. So. The fishermen always talk about this, that there's this idea of devotion between the male and the female swordfish. So this next song we sing is a love song, and it's the story about these two fish and how they, they die actually heart to heart. so dramatic. <laughs> this is all about the drama. So actually, if you like drama, this is nice for you. This is, um, we thought we'd do a little treat for you. Uh, Vincenzo is an amazing percussionist, and percussion's a really strong tradition in Sicily. Uh, the frame drum, it came from the shepherds, uh, because all the folk instruments came from simple things that people used to pass the time but make beautiful music. So Vincenzo is a master of the tamburo, so I think you're going to enjoy this. Next little song. <laughs>
Imagine the amount of de manual dexterity that takes. <laughs> that was great. It's a complete instrument. People think that this instrument that could be played in this way, is potentially is strong. Yes, it is. So, in every culture in all the world, there's this kind of instrument. Actually, <laughs> so it's really deep. <laughs> think so. I I can communicate with uh, with everyone in this way. If I am nervous, if I am happy, if I am all the emotion, I, all the feelings I have, I think I can, <laughs> I can transfer this. I'm happy to be here to you, <laughs> to give this. We're glad to have you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. What were the words about? Well, the words are really ironic. Also, there is a lot of satire and talk about different kind of people and um, uh, different things in the life from love till death or sadness or uh, happiness or everything there's everything erotic and uh, delicate and also what, what is fair in the life and what is not let's see this was a poetry uh, I write myself in Sicilian, Sicilian, but this was a poetry of a, of, a, of a poet of my village, and he died a couple of years ago, so I wanted to, to give him his, his voice, let's say. Very, very I think if he, if he would uh, he would feeling this, he is feeling now, so, <laughs> so I think he's happy. Yeah. Great. We should let folks know how they can find more information about your performances upcoming they can go to your website our websites you can find us on Facebook um, both of our webs our individual websites have a page for Aquaria and we'll be doing some more tours coming up in the future so you can see where we're going to be uh, so you, you look up Vincenzo's website vincenzocastellana.org or michelamuzolino.net but each website has a matching page for Aquaria and of course we're on Facebook we're all over Facebook we just did a really wonderful tour of, of the North Atlantic, and because we had this project dedicated to the sea, we were at all these seaports. So we were up in Mystic, we were at Woods Hole, um, we did a lot of the coffee houses by the sea. It was a lot of fun. We just finished that. It was beautiful. We had so much fun. Sounds great. Yeah, it was a real treat for us to do it. It was a wonderful, wonderful group, uh, the wonderful folk music audience all along the, the North Atlantic coast. It was just a real treat to play for them. So I take it you grew up with this music. Actually, um, I have a, my my sir. I I was the grandchild of immigrants here, so my parents spoke Sicilian dialect, but they spoke it as a code, so we wouldn't know what they were saying. So I had to go to school to learn Italian, and then as an adult, adult I had to learn Sicilian. And I, you know, we, I heard all this Italian American, what I would consider Italian American music, things like Frank Sinatra and Connie Francis, and it didn't make any sense because. You know, I used to hear my grandmother sing. And in fact, my grandmother one time was singing a lullaby and she was in her 90s and I thought, my God, she sings you know, that way because she's old. And then a year later, I was in Sicily, I was at my cousin's house and my cousin's a young woman and she was singing her babies to sleep. And I heard the lullaby, very similar lullaby. And that's when I realized that, ah, they sing that way because that's the way they're supposed to sing. That's the tradition, that's the style. And that's what kind of started me down this route and then, um, Few years after I'd started making this music and studying this music, Vincenzo and I met in Sicily by the sea, of all places, uh, in the temples in this beautiful place, Salimunta, and it was a festival in honor of a Sicilian singer, songwriter, folk musician, Pino Veneziano. And we were sitting there on the steps of the temple one night after the concert, and we're talking about one day we'll work together. This is a couple years ago, it was a long time ago. 
and we finally had this chance to work together, which is a real nice, it's a, it's a fun thing for us, because that way wherever we are, we have Sicily with us and we can share it with everybody, which is something we love very much. So. It shows. Thank you. <laughs> what else have you got to ent entertain us with? Well, we're big on love songs. We really enjoy, Sicilians are very passionate. <laughs> Let's do a serenade. So we have a, a serenade for you. Okay. Sit that moving in the star of love. You don't have chair. Sit here. I sit. Oh. Please. <coughs> uh, <laughs> always good. <laughs> d'amori stiga rilucenti cala tan terra di lo paradiso sospirano pittia tutte le genti e in ogni bocca nascono sospiri io quando fitta ti ha stesa d'amori i canceri su far non sape fare Nero tu cara grappi e mi li porti Ca vai un per cercare la mia sorri Cuti la vigi sta bucuzza duci Cuti lo vigi stu una si du bedro Con l'occhio a pampina da marredesti Ed in gialume cori mi trasisti Io quando vi tatte a stelda d'amori i cancelli su cuore non sape fare di luto con i grappi mi li porti a vaio per cercare la mia sorte spetta d'amori spetta di lucenti cala d'un terra di lo paradiso Sospirano per te a tutti le genti e in ogni bocca nasce non sospiri. Io quando vi tratti a ste da d'amore di cancelli su cuore non sape fare di luta cuore grave me le porti Cavaio per cercare la me so. Now we have something. Now we have something that you have to get up and dance, or maybe they have to get up and dance. Can we do that? Can the cameraman get up and dance? I can get up and dance. All right. Can I put this here? Yes. Okay. Should we play something together? Non uh, con la flauta? Yeah, it's the tarantella, yeah. It's a shorter piece. Since this is the folk music, and we talked about um, these simple traditions and uh, making instruments and just having fun with simple things, we're going to play a song with a flute and drum. And this is the fiscaletto, the flauto from Sicily. Is this the one you made? This is, no, oh. this is not my made in Sicily. He makes his own though, he makes his own flutes. No, actually, this is a unique flute, this kind of flute, because they have two holes in the bottom. Normally, a flute has only one. This is specific from Sicily. It's a virtuoso instrument. Tarantella, tarantella, forza.